bam, SRM coming your way, buddy. And it is. It's the SRM getting all dressed up for the big party. This ain't no, you know, G10, D2, or whatever, uh, 440C, whatever. This is 154CM titanium. What? What's next? It's the end of the world. 1411 Tiger Zebra. Yes, it is. That, um, you know why I got this? First of all, I, you know, I had seen this on White Mountain Knives several times here and there and then never got around to ordering it. And I thought, man, that looks so intriguing though, doesn't it? Just, just the, the design, just the design. Maybe not, you know, I don't know if I like this corner. I mean, they could have just made that, you know, rounded that off and I would have been okay. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna throw a big damn ring tail fit over that, okay? Um, it's okay, it's okay. I, I can, I can, I can, I can take that. Um, but everything else just really spoke to me, including, including, you're gonna get me nailed down to the ground. Four inch blade, nine inches overall, let's just get that elephant out of the room. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. It's a big boy. She's a big boy. But I'll tell you what, slander. Interesting action. Centered up, no blade play, lock rock. Hey, SRM, hello. Real steel knives. Okay. Does that bring some? Okay, there you go. Um, so, oh, look at that. Nothing there, is there? Where's the where's the opening to the screws? Backside, backside, one. On the other, one of these two. I'm sure it's the outer one. Check. Okay, then then, uh, knowing that also, on to the next right. Deep carry pocket clip, and it's they're not doing a left hand. Okay, I get it. Deep carry tip up. And how about that? Flat screws. So you're buried in there. You got maximum. And yes, I have carried this. Damn right I have. Uh, and oh, you got Jimmy on here. It could be a little bit more aggressive. It's not that aggressive. Oh, hold on. Crap. Grab a piece of paper. What did I just do? Okay, hold on. Okay, so there's some knives that, you know, are factory edge. Okay, let's just call it that, factory edge. They're not at the peak. You know, a lot of times we would talk about cold steel being scary sharp. Okay, this is cold steel scary sharp. I mean, did you hear something? Did it go through? Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's, it's just rolls through the paper super nice super nice so yes it's scary sharp so be very careful by the way you got this little swedge up here um the tip is not too delicate but please no pry bar heroics with this thing and um uh, is that four inches and 100 millimeters I'm asking you, buddy. And there's four and a quarter of the back of that choil at almost 110 millimeters. Overall, that's as close to nine inches as you get and not be nine inches. And 22 and a half centimeters. When you hit 22 and a half centimeters, buddy, you got a pretty dang good size knife. And these, I mean, you know, fit and finish is nice. I mean, just... No sharp edges. These these are rounded nicely, and and look at this handle for ergos. I mean, it's just neutral all the way. It's no problem. Easy slide on off, and guess what? There's plenty of room for bigger hands than mine for sure, because she got a big old handle on there. Now, you see where they've kind of machined this out a little bit here. And over here. So you want to disengage the blade? It's not difficult. Even though 
you don't have a lot of space between the scales and there's a reason for that. Hold on, let's get this. 0.41 at 10.5 millimeters. What about the paramilitary two? 11.6 at 0.45. This is fatter, this is thicker. And you know what? This is pretty thin in the pocket. This is thinner. Okay, look at the backspacer. I was kind of impressed with that. I mean, check it out. First of all, you got some degree of jimping, which is probably more style points than anything else. But look at how nice and crowned it is and smooth it is. Okay, and this was, ah, crap, let me get my paperwork on this because um, it wasn't terribly expensive. Okay, yeah, it was 114 bucks. 10% discount, right? So $11.40, okay? So it's, okay, 100 smackers right there. Um, I, I don't consider that overpriced. 8.9 inches, 154cm, all this kind of stuff. Okay, bead blast, uh, titanium, uh, tip up, all that kind of stuff. 4.5 ounces, not bad for a nine inch knife. And I thought this was interesting that this guy said, I'll give it a 4.5. And he likes SRM knives as an overall, but he thought, you know, this one really panned out pretty well. And this guy's pretty, you know, focused on the details as well. I mean, you can pause and read, or you can see this on the White Mountain Knives site. You know, I guess I need to, I need to, uh, do more feedbacks and reviews on their site as well. I've been really remiss in doing that. But you got a little cutaway here so you can sharpen. It's a nice flat grind. Um, ooh, yeah. I mean, I just really, this, this is, I don't know what this looks like. I guess you can, this handle is reminiscent of the Wii Upshot, maybe. You know what I mean? And a lot of other knives in that kind of genre. Um, but yeah, there's a lot to like there. And then just that pocket clip is really well done. As far as I'm concerned, in and out of the pocket. Lockup is pretty heavy. And that's one thing that that guy talked about. He said it was 50% lockup. And to him, that's a little heavier than he'd want, but he can live with it. Oh, I can live with a 50% lockup there. Not a problem disengagement. I think he says, we're going to take this apart because he was saying there's junk in there and he cleaned it up and they had kind of a thick Vaseline, you know, silicone lube type thing. And he took that out and put a lighter lube in it and it improved the action. So we'll try and do that as well. Kaboom, right? Four and a half ounces. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Four and a half ounces. At, uh, oop, 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 oop. We need, how do we miss grams? Four and a half ounces at, oh, 129 grams. Yeah, where's my balance point on here? Mm, it's back in here, right there. Um, blade to handle length. Okay, yeah, I mean, no, you can't stuff any more in there than that. And you know, the good thing is, I mean, some blades, when the backspacer only comes to like here, and they really put everything they want in there, you can push flesh through there and touch the tip. You could actually get cut. Here, no. And look at, I mean, that's just nicely rounded, and yet it'll protect you from coming in contact with that blade. And design flow is great. I mean, what am I going to complain about here? Uh, I really like this one. And they make one that looks kind of like this design. And you know what? Damn it. I should have printed that one out. Look on White Mountain. They make one that's smaller than this. And one of the guys that commented when I posted this on my Instagram said, I got the smaller one and I really love it. So check that out as well. Okay, so now that I like the knife so much, let's see if we can completely destroy it. Um, you know, why not? Why leave well enough alone? Well, this isn't 
turning too much. I think it did just a tad, but I think it stopped itself. And it looks like we have a flat spot on that pivot. That's why this just turned a little bit and then stopped. Uh, okay, so let's get the rest. You know, and another thing I didn't really talk about, look at the, uh, yeah, I mean, the hardware on here is nice. You know, this nice machined look to it with these little blue surrounds. There's nothing wrong with that. Let me see if this is, nah, crap. Uh, that would have fulfilled my dreams, right? A number eight on here, but it's not. Okay, let's kick this open. But, you know, it's kind of interesting and important, I think, to know that the knife comes apart like it should. Oh, there's your little surround here. Okay, let's not forget to put that on. That's just like me to forget. Okay, and then this screw here on the top, I'm sure, yeah, it goes back to back with, the, with this thing on the back side. And, you know... Uh, you know, I think also on his, uh, feedback, which this guy really did a good feedback on that. I think he was saying that there's a flat spot on these screws that go through here. And that's what keeps them from turning. Okay. Hold on. So we got pocket clip. We got some thread lock around there. Things are falling apart here in my hand. Okay. Um, Ah, that's what he was talking about. See? That is, of course, not the screw. This is the open tube here. But it's flat, so it's not going to turn. And we got everything apart. Um, no weight relieving on the inside, but that's thin. I mean, I don't think I want to do that. Oh, look at these. Uh, we got roller bearings on here. Isn't that nice? That's, you know, uh, they've done that on some real steel knives as well. And I can't remember which models it was in now. But yes, they have. Let's kind of get organized here. Let's get this out. Got the back. So everything just fell apart. Okay. So this is presentation side with the logo. And of course, it's flat spot. And uh, you know what? Let's... Just for the hell of it, let's measure how. That's a 0.15. That's almost a four millimeter thick stop. So that's that's sturdy. And then, yeah, he wasn't wrong about the goop, was it? He kind of that thick silicone-based lubricant of some sort. See that? We're we're gonna take all that off. To hell with that. We're gonna put a light lube. Um, we're going to put my little KPL on there, which is super light. And let's take a look around. Okay, so we got, there's that surround. It's, I think it feels like it wants to come out down there. Okay, there's a surround on the backside. Um, but here's, oh, you know what? We could take this out just hopefully like that. There you go. So there's the steel washer you know what that's not a real thin steel washer either that's that's reasonably stout and there's the rest here's your hardened steel insert ceramic detent ball and over travel stop so we got all the components in here this thing might be worth the price of admission just oop, 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 oop. okay let's put these extra little pass throughs over here might be worth the price of admission just for these cool roller bearings here. Um, and can you come out of there too? Yes, you can. And yeah, they're all gooped up. Um, you know, and I've seen some knives that really have a great drop to them. And this one wasn't bad, but I'll bet it'll be better once, once this is cleaned off. And I never could, I mean, you know, I see a lot of knives that have this kind of thick stuff on them. And I always wonder why they don't put a lighter uh, lubrication on there. And then there are a lot of knives that do have a lighter lubrication. So I've been seeing more and more of them as well. Maybe they're listening.
All right. I mean, uh, we've got things pretty well wiped down uh, and ready to reassemble. And of course, if you will remember, well, um, this had a flat spot in it that matched up with this pivot area here so that you can, you know, square this off, the logo, but at the same time, you're going to keep things from getting out of control there. And let me line the flat spot here. And then we need a washer. And that fits right there. I mean, there's not much slop. There's my chimes. Time to go, I guess. I'll see you next week. <laughs> All right, let's roll it. We're going to announce the hour, I think. Oh. Four o'clock and we want to rock. Ooh, I feel a cold Coors Light coming on. And right here. Let's... Put a little lubrication on there as well. And do we have one of these? Yes, we do. So we're going to throw that right on top. Um, you know, we've got this to contend with here. And we have two of these. And they've got to go in just right because they're squared off right in that scale area. If you can see that. See how they they got that little squared off area towards the front of that hole? So they got to be like that. And uh, let's get this in here. I've got my fingers all over everything. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. The little surround is not a big deal. Okay, now... But this has got to meet where the square area is. Let's get this backspacer on. Boop, 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 boop. All right. And we've got uh, another scale. And we have a surround here that needs to fit in right there. We've got a body screw and we need, it's a number six, so we got to tighten this one up like yay with this driver. And of course we got the pocket clip at that end, but let's put the... Uh, pivot surround like I was telling you I was going to forget right and uh, put it right here Ooh, so those little pass through pieces they can cause you to have to kind of use a lot of your fingers to uh, kind of get underneath and support them so they don't just fall out uh, that's kind of a pain okay now, we've got number one screw here, so maybe we can just lay it down and put that in because we're meeting this little dog in the back here and just get it laid in and that way we can free our hand up to get this other one in however we want. Ooh, and that's a short little dog. That's way short. Okay didn't need to go far okay so where are we well we're centered um i think i got her snug i think i got a real snug uh let's let's release the beast yeah oh yeah i got it enough plenty enough have we changed anything nope And do we have any play? No. 
And can we take some more? Yeah, we probably can. I'm wondering how much I can take before I've took it off center. And uh, still no play. See how far I can go. Okay. Okay. Um, still centered. Still no play. Wow, that's weird. Okay. I'm not taking much at a time. Just a little bit. And, uh, that's, that's good. All right, back. 1411TZ. SRM. Yeah, nice little drop to it. Interesting. You're going to have to get a lot of fingers back here to support those when you push them back through. But interesting that they squared them off so that they're oriented the right way. Um, put a lot of thought into a knife that you can, you know, you can buy for 100 smackers. I, I like it. I like it. I like SRM. I like real steel. I like San Ranmu. So, I'm good with this. I'm leaving you alone. Thank you so much. Sub to my channel if you'd be so kind. And stay sharp.